J drone here. Two batteries, one quadcopter. We're going to wire them so we increase the MAH. They're 3.7 volts, 600 MAH. We have them wired so it's still 3.7 volts, 1200 MAH. Uh, if you were to wire them the other way around, you would increase the volts, which would make them 7.4 volts, but you would still have the same MAH, which wouldn't do anything for your flight time. Uh, and you might possibly ruin your motors if you increase the voltage. So we're keeping the same voltage, just doubling the MAH. And we're ready. Let's take this for a flight and see what it does. I'm anticipating a much higher flight time. The most that I've gotten out of this is about 7 to 8 minutes. And that's even indoors with no wind. Uh, right now it's 31 degrees out with about a 2 mile an hour wind. It's cold. Um, from everything that I've read, the coldness does affect the batteries. So whatever time I get, I'm anticipating I could get longer times if it was 60, 70 degrees out. But we'll see what we get here. Uh, I'm very, very eager to end this flight already. <laughs> Wish I could fast forward through this and see what we get towards the end. I've been thinking about doing this for a while just because uh, I own Cadillacs and the diesel Cadillacs had two batteries in them. Uh, there are four, 12 volt batteries but two of them in them which did not increase the voltage to 24 volts it just increased the amperage and uh, just taking that and putting it towards these my brain's been ticking so we're trying this this is a glow in the dark striker um, we don't have the camera on it we don't have the battery compartment door on it we have one battery in the battery compartment we have the other battery on top of it they're actually sandwiched together I have a little piece of tape that way they're not going to shift left to right and screw this gyro up I want the gyro stable then we have the entire wiring harness that I have um, and all of the wires that are connected to both of these batteries come out to one lead that go into the quadcopter. These are brand new batteries. I charged them both on the same charger so they should be at the same level. These batteries will be paired for life. The only thing they're ever going to be used for is this. I'm not going to take one and use it in a different quadcopter and the other one in a different quadcopter because they're going to drain at different levels then. I want these batteries consistently draining at the same level because for any reason they don't charge the same or they drain too quickly, the one will start to charge the other one during flight time and then you're going to have adverse effects. Um, they kind of balance each other out so if they're completely balanced during flight time during charging, during discharging, you're going to get your maximum flight time, guaranteed. Um, I've done a little bit of research on this. I have some basic knowledge of batteries from just screwing around with things and playing with stuff, but uh, I'm fairly confident I'm going to increase this flight time well past 10 minutes. And like I said, seven to eight minutes is what I've been getting with the striker, um, and that's the white and red striker not so much the glow and dark striker I really haven't done time trials with this and uh, we'll see what we get here like I said it's cold out it's 31 degrees out uh, we did have nice weather and then kinda of dip back down you can see this flies very very stable despite the fact we have two batteries on this again I told you I dropped the cam and dropped the battery door we've lost some weight and we've gained some weight but I've also had an altitude meter on this if we really wanted to go for time which you know I will um, I think I'll find longer propellers to throw on this because I think you get better times with the longer propellers as I've showed in the tarantula 1505 because it makes uh, it makes it more efficient flying because the propellers are covering more surface area and thus thrusting up quicker and your stops are quicker your goes are quicker um, but right now, this is just basic test. Uh, I had to get this out of my system, get this test done. I've worked a lot this past week, um, two jobs every single day, and it's nighttime right now. It's actually 10 o'clock at night, and I got to be up early in the morning. But on the sake of testing, I'm out here flying out in cold. <laughs> um, and again, it's when you're flying these things, you're going for one of two things. You're going for video quality or you're going for flight duration. 
right now we're going for flight duration uh, the fun of these things is flying them I mean I love taking video I love taking pictures right now I don't have a night cam for these so we're going for flight duration uh, see how long we can fly this and uh, I'm flying it out I'm flying it up I'm kinda cruising around with it I'm not going crazy with it not doing tons of flips and whatnot but I'm not extremely babying it I really wish the weather was above 50 degrees because I know whatever flight time I get would be increased everything I've read on the internet says lipo batteries uh, discharge a lot quicker in the cold and it's cold <laughs> Right now we're pushing the six minute mark. Uh, that's about average. Six to seven minutes outside with a little bit of wind. Uh, that's about average time. Indoors, like I said, I think I pulled about eight minutes with the red and white striker. And that's zero wind. Uh, normal room temperature where the battery is going to discharge at the proper level. And again, these temperatures out here, these batteries are discharging quicker than they should. They were inside, they were charged, I let them sit a while. Again, if you charge your batteries, charge them, let them sit maybe 20 minutes before you take them back out. Uh, kind of give them a settling period. Just as well as when we're done here, we've discharged these, we're not going to charge them right away. Actually, I'm not going to charge them, period, because I'm done flying for the night. But if you did want to fly again, let them sit for five ten minutes and then go ahead and charge them you always want to give a wait period because they do get warm and you don't want to overload them you don't want to ruin the cells in them and right now we're getting close to seven minute mark I'm pretty cold but uh... I've been out in colder I've been out in two degrees so <laughs> this is nothing you can see what a steady flyer this is. Kind of just hovering around. No major issues. And again, like I said, if we wanted to go for extreme flight time, we'd increase those propeller blades. I drop uh I drop those uh, landing gear skids off and we'd be completely down to uh just the body, body, bigger propellers, two batteries, and hopefully above 50 degrees when I do decide to do all this. And I, I'd like to shatter some records with time. Right now, I think 12 minutes, 12 minute flight time with the Tarantula 1505, uh, completely stripped down with a higher MAH battery. I think it was a 500 MAH, it comes with a 300 MAH, and we got about 12 minutes. That's the longest I've ever flown a quadcopter consistently. Right now we're pushing the eight minute mark. See, I'm flying it out there, bringing it back. This has no issues flying. The added weight, zero issues. And we're blinking here. But I'm going to keep flying it. Those blinks are intermediate. Uh, when this thing goes into low, like low battery warning, it's a very quick flash. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe having two of them on, it trips something in it where it's saying, hey, uh, something's going on here that's not right. I don't know. But we're going to keep flying it. We're at, we're just pushing the nine minute mark. Let's see how long this flies yet. we're having zero issues flying it I still have full power here again I think this is just a, a confused quadcopter where it has two batteries on it and maybe maybe one of them did discharge a little bit quicker than the other one and they're balancing out again I'm unsure I haven't done too much research on this this is kind of trial and error here you can see it getting smaller I kind of flew it up and outwards I have full power with this. So again, my my assumption I think is uh, pretty correct. I know these quadcopters fairly well. When those lights go to a rapid blink, then it's going to shut down. Your propellers aren't going to spin anymore, and game over. <laughs> but we're not at that point yet. We're we're at this intermediate 
blinking, which again, I'm unsure why it's doing it. But we still have full power here. We're at a 10 minute mark now. So we've been flying about a minute, minute and a half on these uh, intermediate blinks. Still have full throttle. It's having zero issues. Speed's nice on it. Pull, pull up's nice on it. Like, still very responsive. Not getting any type of glitching going on. And we're gonna take it straight up show you I still have complete power with this so again those those lights there they're not the hey your battery's low light I think those are hey you have two batteries and I'm a confused light <laughs> didn't mention that in the instruction manual but I'm pretty sure that's what that's doing there because we're pushing two minutes on them blinkins the intermediate blinking lights so we're, we're we're at 11 minutes here guys I take 30 seconds off for setup we're at 10 and a half minutes we're pushing the tarantula 1505's uh, flight time and you see I took it straight out and bring it back zero issues I got full power here again what I did I took two batteries I wired them so I'm not sure if it's called parallel or in series again I've done very little research on this it's one or the other I've wired them so I'm keeping the same 3.7 volts the way I have them wired I've increased the MAH so it was 3.7 600 MAH per battery I've wired them so that I'm getting 1200 MAH and keeping the 3.7 I don't ever suggest you increasing the voltage the voltage isn't going to give you longer flight times if you're going for speed if you're going to possibly damage your gears and uh, your motors increase that voltage buddy because I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna do it's probably gonna burn the motors out I mean if you take a car which is 12 volts and put 24 volts into it pretty sure it's not gonna end out too well for you um, these things they're rated at a certain voltage you should probably keep them at that that's one experiment I'm not going to do because I don't want to fry one of my quadcopters increasing the voltage by double. I'm down to continue increasing MAH. I mean, <laughs> we're pushing 13 minutes here. This thing's been blinking. Again, this is the I have two batteries. I'm not sure what to do blink. <laughs> um, I'm stoked. I'm cold, but I'm stoked. 13 minutes. Take it. Take half a minute off for setup we're still pushing 12 and a half minutes we just broke the tarantula's record by a half a minute and we're still going I'll drop this thing down once I get those rapid quick blinks until then I'm gonna keep flying this I'm gonna be cold and I'm not, I can't believe this and just say I was in 50 degrees if I was in 50 degrees whatever this end time is <laughs> I guarantee it it go up by a third 13 minutes and 50 seconds there's the rapid blinks and we're down I'm J Drone if you haven't subscribed please do